Alright guys, so today I'm going to show you guys how to fix your frozen RGH or JTAC console. Um, a lot of times if you use Xbox Live Stealth, um, it'll stop at this screen. And if you don't have Xbox Live Stealth, it can't connect, so it'll freeze. So I'm going to show you guys how to fix that now. Now that you have your hard drive or your USB stick off of your JTAG, wherever your Xbox Live Stealth and Launch.ini file is, just going to hook it up to your computer. Um, what I'm doing is using an old Xbox 360 case for a hard drive as a SATA connection with a transfer cable to my computer. Um, so that's how I'm hooking the hard drive up to that because actually what I did is I um, took an old Xbox 360 hard drive, took it apart and put it in the slim RGH that I have. Um, so uh, whenever you have that hooked up to your computer just go ahead and launch USB XTAF um, as administrator and since I'm using a hard drive I'm going to click file and then click open hard drive. Um, if you're using USB stick of course you can click open USB stick. Um, if the program goes non-responsive like it does here um, don't worry it's just trying to read the hard drive don't click anything and it will read it um, so once it's uh, once it reads it just go ahead and click on data partition which is where everything's going to be stored at and as you can see we got launch.ini so just right click on that and click delete and then we have Xbox Live Stealth just right click on that and then click delete again and once you do that just go ahead and click file at the top and then close the current drive that way we make sure it's not sending any data go ahead and close that out and you can eject it and then put it back into your console and I'll show you guys that you'll be able to boot up and sign into your console and do everything like you would normally as you can see this was the screen we were frozen at last time but now it is booting past this and we can sign into our, to an account and do whatever we need to do um, so if you have any questions, uh, feel free to let me know. Um, if you can't get your hard drive or USB stick or anything like that connected to your computer, contact me. Um, I'll give you an alternate way to do things. Um, there is a method you can remove the hard drive itself. Uh, install XCX menu, dash launch, everything like that onto a USB stick. And then um, actually... Uh, do it that way. So if you can't get it this way, uh, can't get it fixed, just let me know and I'll make a video on that other method as well. So you guys hope you enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace.